Hello, makers. My name is Brian, and I work in the Makery at Elmhurst Public Library. In this video, we will show you how to prepare a photograph for laser engraving. For this project, you'll need a photo in a digital format, ours is on a flash drive, and you'll need wood to engrave on. We're using eighth inch board wood, and I've got an extra piece of wood here just in case my first attempt doesn't turn out well. Always bring extra materials. Preparing a photo for laser engraving is easy to do and only takes a few minutes, but there are a lot of steps. First, open Photo Laser Plus, then click OK to close this box. We don't need to change any settings. Now go to File, Import, select our photo, and click Import. After we import, we click anywhere inside the black rectangle to place our photo. And the first thing we'll have to do here is resize our photo. We can do this by clicking and dragging the corner, or we can type in our desired size in inches. Just make sure this padlock is closed first. That will lock the proportions so our photo doesn't get stretched. This is very important. Make sure your photo is exactly the size you need it to be. You cannot change the size later unless you start back over from the beginning. Next, we'll adjust the resolution. Go to Image, Image Size, and adjust the resolution to 600. Make sure both numbers change, then click Apply. Finally, we'll dither our photo. Dithering is how lasers represent differences in color. To dither, go to Transform, Photo Laser, and Interactive. Click the yellow folder, and choose the wood setting labeled Large. Large will be appropriate for most images. The small setting is only for extremely small images that are less than one inch. Next, uncheck the box for Exclude White. The only box that should be checked is Apply Transparency. Then click OK. All right, our photo is now dithered and ready to be engraved. To engrave our photo, we need to place it into Illustrator so we can send it to the laser. First, go to Edit and click Copy. Next, open Adobe Illustrator. In the upper left, click the blue button that reads New File. Then click Create. Now go to Edit and click Paste. Finally, choose File, Print. And don't change any settings here, just click Print. And now for our final process, we'll set up the laser. First, change the autofocus setting to Plunger. Second, Click the blue folder with the down arrow to import laser settings. Scroll down to wood, choose photo engraving, and click import. Third, change the resolution to 600, the same number as before. And fourth, change the dithering setting to none. We've already dithered our photo. Fifth, and finally, we'll position our photo. Over on the left side, Click the checkbox beside the word video to turn on the camera, then click and drag your photo to the correct position. And just as a reminder, do not resize your photo here. If you need to change the size, go back to the beginning and start over. Once the photo is dithered, the size cannot be changed. And that's it. Let's click print and watch the laser in action. If you have any questions, please leave a comment on this video or find our contact information in the description below. We hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching.